right, here we go. This is Jordan's three mousetrap mouse trap car. We're experimenting with three different lengths of arms, right? Yeah, that's what we do. Okay, put it right on the line. We're going to see how she does. Aim it to the left because she seems to want to wander to the right a little bit. Our first mousetrap car, so we'll continue to improve. Here it goes. Hey, it's not doing too bad. It's going faster. Oh, that bumps. And we're gonna do three test runs per arm. All right, this can be test number two. Test number one took us all the way to about, well, 31 feet, one inch. So not too shabby. He's using the rolling it backwards method to wind it up, which works just great. That's good right there, brother. All right. It's a little cold up here in Northern Utah. All right, aim it to the left a little bit, see if we can get it straighter. Okay, that's good. Let her rip. Come on, baby. Ooh, this one might be better. Get ready to stop it. Remember it rolled back a little bit. Ooh, we beat it. We beat it. Nice. So now all we gotta do is measure from that mark instead of measuring from all the way back there, right? Number three, ready when you are. Let's follow her this time. Come on, baby. Trying to keep this experiment controlled. Same car, same street, same launch position. And man, that's consistent. Wow. That's the same. That worked. <laughs> okay, we're back in the garage. <clears throat> um, uh, Jordan and I had a hypothesis in the beginning, right? What was it? Which, which mouse trap link? Would go farthest. Which arm on the mouse trap would yeah. go the furthest? And what do we think? The big one. We thought that this long arm on the mouse trap was going to travel the farthest. Um, we're starting to doubt our hypotheses a little bit. We think we might have actually exceeded that optimization balance where because we're trying to make a controlled experiment with one car, uh, the same design, the same weight, the same location, the same everything, we decided to put all three mouse traps on one car. So what did that do, Jordan? What does it do? Yeah, what's the problem with that? Um, it's too heavy. It's not that it's too heavy. We think it might be too heavy, but we haven't confirmed that yet. So I think what we expected to see was uh, more coasting. Once it was done, the, the long arm was done and it, and it fell down, I expected to see it to continue to move but it didn't. We think we might actually be on a little bit of an uphill slope too, right? So that might affect it as well. But um, I'm still gonna stick with the original hypothesis that the long arm is gonna go the furthest. And we're gonna actually see here in a minute if we, act, if we did uh, go over that balancing threshold of optimization and, and made a little bit too heavy a car, but that's what all this experimenting is about, right? So here we go. All right, here we go with the medium arm. We haven't even tested it. We tested it last night when we had the the front arm on just to see if it was going to go straight and what was going to happen so this is actually our first test with the medium arm and whenever you're ready joe let her rip oh i was right hey look at it coasted a little bit like we expected and it stops right there boom good well look at we came up a little bit short but that's only test run number one. Let's see. All right, the variability of this road surface is, um, I think it's going to cause a little discrepancy in our data points, but we just tried another one, but it ended up clear over here on the left side of this mark. So it started going downhill and actually almost made it 35 feet. So we're going to try to aim this one a little bit differently to keep it within these lines to get some consistent data. Yeah, go ahead. Looks better. Me. Is it gonna do it? It is. That's a good test. We'll call that a good test. Very consistent. So bring it forward a little bit. Yeah, right about there. This mark on our first test uh, with the 16 inch arm actually went through here. And so with that much friction, that's why it didn't make it as far as over there. So we're learning stuff, right? 
right. Number three with the 12 inch arm. Let's see how she does. It's gonna be a good test. Right down the middle, baby. It's a good test. So I might do it. Oh, it's our best one with that car. So we're gonna see. Roll back, but right about there, huh? Okay, let's record over the, the short arm now. This is the eight inch arm. We got four inch difference in each arm. Okay. Hopefully to make a big enough difference so we can see it in our data. Yeah, take it down until this is the one's gonna need all it can get. Yeah, this is gonna apply the most force directly to the axle and it should take off quicker than anything we've tried yet. So let's see. Oh yeah. She's starting off good and she's gonna coast. Oh, but just not enough. See, we... Which one was that? Oh man, it's so close. Which one was that? The short arm. Ooh. See, that one starts off quick and it coasts like we expect. Just not enough. See, it expels all that, all of that uh, energy is dispersed all at once. Not all at once, but quicker. So it starts off quicker, but it doesn't last as long. It peters out quicker, right? It's different. And I think it's the contour in the road. However, it's still, you know, our hypothesis is still correct. Go ahead, he's gonna go straight this time, see what it does. I think it's going way far right. Oh no, look at it, made a left, ooh, the string got caught up, dang it. Last one was going pretty good, but the string got caught up, it didn't release from our little connection, so he's gonna try it straight again. And it's not going, it's wrong. Give a little nudge, oh, there it goes. Ooh, look at it, even, yeah, it got caught up, caught up, but. I'm gonna, it looks like it actually skids out there once that arm gets up a little ways. I'm going to get a little close video of this. Here we go. Oh, yeah. See? Oh, it that rolls dang up. screen. Hey, we're going to take this thing back inside and uh, see if we can clip a little bit of that off so that we got the hang up cured. So let's see how she. I keep calling it a she. I don't know why we do that. All right, go ahead. Gave it a nice little thrust there at the end. Very average data point. We're right at 29.4 inches again. That's great. Great. Good data. Good data. All right, we're going to give this the long arm a, another chance. But what happened? I was rolling it back and it snapped. Crap. Okay, we're not going to give the long arm <laughs> another chance. Uh, I think that's it. I think we got enough data points to. Uh, to uh, put a little something together. Dang it, well, we'll fix that just so we, we'll have to fix that. All right, here we go. Okay, we're done with our experiment and this is what we learned. I've learned that the balloons give it more friction and grip on the wheels. I also learned that the friction on the wheel on the axle is very important and that's why we use the bearings. We, we also, also learned, learned that we can calculate how far it will go without even testing it. First, you divide the length of the string by the circumference of the axle. Then we multiply the number by the circumference of the wheel. And now we know how far the car will go before coasting. My hypothesis was right. It was the long arm that went the farthest. And my experiment is done. Uh -huh. Subscribe, hit the bell, hit the thumbs, hit a like, and we'll see you next time. Bye!